Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. And look what I have in front of me. It's the Star Frontiers, New Genesis, Core Rules, uh, not ready for prime time. Seriously, I, I will never claim that these rules are ready for prime time. Now, <clears throat> I have them set up as a P they're a PDF, right? You can read the PDF. You can see me scroll through the PDF where it says, text written and edited by Dave Johnson. Copyright 2021-2022, TSR Hobbies, TSR LLC. No part of this beta manuscript is final. We can change anything as needed before final printing. This is not to be given, released or handed to anyone associated with Woods of the Coast, Hasbro. And in case, oh, by the way, table of contents sucks. But in case you missed that part, in case you missed it, this, I mean, it looks awesome, doesn't it? This is this is striking, striking. Written by Dave Johnson and Justin Lanasa. Edited by Dave Johnson and Justin Lanasa. Hey, one of your interior artists is Justin Lanasa. One, and this is a work owned by TSR. Any copying or transfer is a violation of the trademarks owned by TSR Hobbies, LLC. Or is it TSR or TSR Hobbies? Which company is it? I don't fucking know. And just to announce this work is not allowed to be transferred to Wizards of the Coast, their attorneys or entities. Uh-huh. Okay. So let's, let, let's move on. Oh, oh, again, in case you forgot, this is a classified manuscript. By the way, the last time I heard terminology like that, my son was 15. Can't tell you what happened at school. It's classified. This is a classified manuscript. You okay? You can't look at it. Transfers to individuals were not allowed to result in possible criminal actions. No. No. That's not how it works. Criminal actions? Criminal actions, Rachel. Criminal actions. Tears are obvious. Big red. An imprint of... Because they said so? Because they said so. Oh, okay. An imprint of TSR Hobbies LLC. So, <clears throat> this was supposed to be the TSR Hobbies TSR Con Edition printing, March 2022. So, folks, this might not resemble the beta that is supposedly going out to playtesters now who haven't really received it. But in any case, let's just assume they have there's, oh, and, a, and the ISBN number, the ISBN number, look at that. Zero, 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 zero. Um, okay. And, a, and, they, and they, they, this disclaimer, this is a work of fiction. Didn't they already have that disclaimer? They did. This is a work of fiction. So as a beta, it really is a bad beta. But hey, so I just, I'm just doing this. I'm just doing a scroll through. Um, oh, and there's, there's, there's this... Uh, uh, I, I think I already saw this. I think I already saw this from Ernie in the uh, Dungeon Crawl game. Um, I guess it's just to get Ernie's name on the on the credits. I guess his name will be on the book because he put this one page in from 2008. And I don't mean to... Uh, uh, look, Dave Johnson's signature. I, I don't mean to say anything bad about Ernie by saying that, but I've already seen it. We've already seen it, and it's fucking 14 years old so but what is star frontiers oh god all right so hold on let me i, I know you want the good stuff i'm gonna get to the good stuff first video i'm gonna get to the good stuff and then i'm gonna get to the nitty-gritty but i'm i'm going to um what's the word i'm looking for i i almost want to say splooge i want to come to that position of Wow, uh, how are you going to top this? And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm probably not going to top this. So let me get to the right page. Look, I gotta, I gotta skim through it, Billy. I, I know you're, you're just dying to see all this shit. I, I just don't, I don't want anybody saying, "Hey, ten car is, is photoshopping this." Because if I, if, if I could Photoshop this, that would be awesome, right? So, oh, here, this is where I wanted to get to core race types. And I want to go. I want to go. I'm going to. I'm going to take you gently through this. So there are crypto animals, human animal hybrids, crypto plants, engineered human plant hybrids, humanoids, 
cyborgs, Moltars, Greys, two arms, two uh, whoa. There's some there's, there's some punctuation missing there. Greys, two arms, two legs, bipedal that walk upright. Please not about sub races within him. We I to beta. All right. I give I give, I'll, I'll give him a pass to beta. Oh, there's a creature with no arms or legs with a non-humanoid shape or appearance. So examples of races, and the examples of races I'm going to be following are humanoid races. I'm going to have to clear my throat for this one. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Sorry. i got to be properly composed for this. I want to do it justice. Cyborg, human bionetics. The human brain is housed in a cybernetic machine. Okay. Mutar. Or uh, what's left, these are clones. What's left of the human race, clones start the game with 1D6 plus 2 clones in stasis. All right, that's interesting. Kind of like paranoia, right? Graves. Zetani. 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 Zet whatever. Zetas. Uh, gray skin, uh, three or four foot hairless with large heads. Start with sonic powers. Cool. Greens, extremely fast. Look at that. Reptilians, tall, scaly humanoids start with shape changing abilities. Negro, what? What's that, Willis? Negro, sub race, Ulfar. Okay. Tall, thick bodied, dark skinned, even purple dark, brown eyed race with large strength. Average intelligence. All attributes are in the 10 plus range, except intelligence, which is a maximum of plus nine. I don't understand how that plus. I'm assuming that the uh, sub geniuses at TSR meant nine or less. But who could tell? Maybe they mean it's a plus nine. That when you roll your intelligence, you get a plus nine. I somehow doubt it. But wait, it gets more. It gets better. Nordic. Now, what do you think they're talking about with Nordic? Tall, blonde, blue-eyed. Let's substitute. What would be tall, blonde, blue-eyed as, I don't know, a racial or a national background? That might, uh, oh, begins with an A. And it's not avian, but it sounds close to it. Tall, blonde, blue-eyed race with exceptional attributes and powers. All, all attributes are in the 13 plus range. Wow. Why would you play it now? I don't know. I don't know. So, folks, I, I, I'm just, I'm just throwing this out there. But this is. Interesting, right? This, to me, is very insightful into the mind of the writers of this game, the designers of this game, who happen to be self-identified as Dave Johnson and Justin Lanasa. Now, I don't know if this is... I don't know if this level of stupidity... And I'm gonna, I'm, and I'm using the word stupidity because I'm trying to be nice. I don't know, I don't want to insult morons, but I don't know if this level of stupidity uh, made it to the printed versions that are supposedly going out for playtest. But uh, yeah, folks, it. I I'd like to say it gets better. It gets worse from here. Okay. This is not the high watermark. This is just a watermark that I wanted to set so you could set your expectations as to what to expect from Star Frontier's new Genesis. Okay? This is it. Uh, what, what, what? Tell me what you'd like to find out. What, what, what interests you when it comes to, I don't know, the history of the world? The history of the universe? Um, that might be something that's maybe in Tabletop Tom's, uh, in Tabletop Tap Room, Tom, his, uh, his wheelhouse. I am not a Star Frontiers expert, but I can pretty much guarantee there wasn't a Negro or Aryan race in the original game. I'd have to break my box set out to 
make sure about that, but I'm 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 pretty well sure. So I, I got to say, that's something you'd remember. Hey, it's something that my uh, being like what when it came out in uh, oh what when it came out in oh it came out in uh, eighty two. So I was like, I don't know, uh, fifteen. So when I was fifteen, I think I would have remembered uh, if there was a a, a a Negro or Morning Grace. And I oh no, I'll save that for t I'll save that for another day. There's there's this there's, there's just some awesome awesome stuff I have to continue with. So folks, as always, we're in the midst of the world of the pandemic. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means please use your common sense, which obviously the writer of this did not. Um, other than that, be safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice, roll them well. I'll be back tomorrow probably with more bags of shit, but if I can avoid bags of shit, I'd like to give you some real news in the hobby, but it might be more bags of shit. What can I tell you? All right, folks. Thank you much. <laughs>